consider this piece of a mammoth. Uh, is all of them work on the grinding surface. And these are found in glacial till uh, in a number of areas around uh, the Midwest. This one came from over in St. Charles County. And uh, from a medium-sized mammoth, um, some of the mammoths were much larger. This is a larger tooth from an imperial mammoth, uh, the largest of the uh, Ice Age uh, uh, mammoths, the, the, uh, what really were essentially big hairy elephants. Again, from uh, uh, Pleistocene deposits uh, in the St. Charles County area. It came out of uh, uh, Lurse, out of um, uh, windblown deposits, windblown silt from the uh, middle part of the Ice Age. A tusk from uh, conglomerates or what are cemented together gravels along the Missouri River over around Kansas City. Uh, you can see pebbles and such in here, the river gravel that's been cemented together and this tusk of a um, uh, mastodon, in this case, uh, was preserved in these uh, conglomerates. A number of Ice Age animals uh, uh, come up from the sediments in the Missouri and Mississippi River gravels. And when the rivers get real low, sometimes uh, bones and teeth and parts of tusks like this are found. Here's the tooth of a mastodon. Mastodons were uh, distant relatives to uh, elephants. Uh, not as close to elephants as were, ma as were mammoths. And mastodons are most easily uh, distinguished from mammoths by the teeth. They have these rounded cone-shaped cusps on the tooth of the mastodon, which uh, the word mastodon has reference to. Uh, it comes from the French a masta, which means breast. You see the same root in mastectomy. And it has reference to these uh, uh, cone-shaped or um, uh, cusp-shaped uh, extensions that are so typical of the teeth of mastodons. Here's the tooth of a uh, slightly larger and older animal. In this case, the uh, cusps have been worn down and have been abraded somewhat, so they're not quite as pronounced. But again, that mastodon or that mast breast shape uh, configuration is characteristic of this as well. So this is the easiest way to tell uh, mammoth from mastodons are with the teeth. Uh, okay, wait for the car. Okay, one, two, three, take uh, ma mastodon. One, two, three, take mastodon. One, two, three, wait for the cars to go. A uh, mastodon lower jaw section from Jefferson County, probably from the side of Mastodon Park. Uh, this was, as far as I can tell, was collected uh, around the turn of the century, possibly uh, during uh, when uh, this Beeler uh, had the uh, Mastodon site uh, about the time of the St. Louis World's Fair. And again, the, you can see these tusk, uh, uh, breast shape or cone shape uh, cusps, typical of the dentition of Mastodons. Take two. A lower jaw of a uh, mastodon from Jefferson County, uh, probably from the side of Mastodon Park, collected around the turn of the century when uh, the C.W. Beeler uh, was uh, involved in the site and uh, probably one of the, um, uh, the material that came out of there about the time of the St. Louis World's Fair. Again, you can see these cusp shaped or uh, breast shaped, uh, as the French would say, uh, cone shaped uh, cusps that are so typical of the teeth of the dentition of mastodons. The uh, skull of a extinct bison, uh, bison americana, uh, slightly larger than the modern bison that roamed the Great Plains until the uh, uh, last century. Uh, these are found in Pleistocene deposits throughout the Midwest. This one came from gravels uh, in the Missouri River. 
Um, uh, sometimes they wash out in considerable quantities. Uh, apparently there were large numbers of these animals living uh, during the Ice Age, during the Pleistocene, where they were covered by a very, very well endowed uh, and uh, heavy coat of fur, furry buffaloes. Okay, what turned it off? 